Well, welcome to another face-to-face interview with Rockosaurus. Today, I'm very pleased to be uh, talking to the maestro of uh, blues and blues rock, Lawrence Jones. Hi there. Thanks for having me. Pleasure, mate. Um, first time at Amira for me. Is it the same for you? Yeah, same for me. Yeah. Like nice little funky venue, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's I like cool. It, yeah. It's really cool yeah. venue. Yeah, we'll have to do more stuff here, I think. Exactly. We'll it's nice. It's nice place for a showcase. That's what we wanted. A little bit exactly. intimate. Um, you know, good blues rock standing in your face, loud gig. Absolutely, because <laughs> well, of course we are, we are launching your uh, your new album tonight, exactly. I believe, aren't we? Yeah, so yeah. Tell us a bit about it. Well, it's called Bad Luck and the Blues, mm-hmm. out on Marshall Records. Um, we recorded out at the Marshall Studio, mm-hmm. um, which was at the Marshall Factory, yeah. a legendary place in Milton Keynes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, just um, it was quite a fast turnaround from my last album, probably mm-hmm. the fastest I've done exactly a year yeah. since the release. Um, everyone was telling me, oh, you're absolutely crazy. It's too fast, too fast. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, I had a gut feeling. I, I just um, wrote these tunes over Christmas and I said to the label, you know, let's let's get in the studio. and. Mm. Um, and luckily, it, it charted at number one on the jazz and blues. And, and why not? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've got my, my copy, well, CD and, and, the, and the vinyl as Real. well, sitting at home. I um, absolutely love it. I Great. mean, it's, um, you've gone to, like, back to the raw stuff, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, track two. Um, sorry, but were you channeling your um, inner Jimi Hendrix by any chance? Definitely, <laughs> definitely. I love, I love Jimi Hendrix and... And that's what I wanted to do, just put all my favourite influences on this album yeah. and make it a guitar record. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, uh, that, uh, that track, definitely that track was just like, man, this is just sublime. <laughs> you know, brilliant, it was brilliant. wonderful because you just got that, you know, the drum and bass beat, so driving it and then the guitar work. It's oh, super. thank you. It was brilliant. And I wanted to record this album mainly live, you mm-hmm. know, to give it all together in a room, to give it that feeling that Jimi Hendrix would have had on yeah. record you know yeah. all the solos were done live there were no overdubs it's plain yeah. as if i was on stage but it's authentic yeah you know and this is the thing and as i say it comes across as beautifully raw brilliant you know and i mean that as a as a compliment no, i appreciate <laughs> there that. are people who would say it sounds a bit raw but because <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it's undercooked but yeah you know what i mean yeah um, definitely uh, absolutely superb Thank so you. It's, uh, i'm glad it's doing so well yeah yeah uh, it's going great so we got some dates lined up yep um off to um, do a UK tour, mm-hmm. just trying to think at the top of my head. Um, <laughs> we're doing Froome Cheese and Grain mm-hmm. um, in October, the start of October. And then we're off to the Netherlands doing a two week tour, which, yeah. is, which is always good, nice. good fun there, do really well out there. Yeah. Um, and then I'm doing a UK tour throughout um, December, Feb, and March. Excellent. As well, in Excellent. carrying on on to next year. So, um, picking all my favourite venues, you know, trying to do some nice yeah. venues for the fans to come to, oh, and brilliant. yeah, a bit more. Um, I wanted to do a bit more quality over quantity this time. You know, yeah. pick the certain areas and and really choose where we were going to well, tour. I think that's important. Isn't yeah, it? definitely. I, I mean, I'm I'm going to take you back a bit because first time I saw you um, was uh, opening for Joanne Shaw Taylor. Oh, really? Yeah, on her Dirty Truth. Um, album launch oh cool when you were with um forget his name bass player roger Innes. roger Innes. Yeah, thank yeah, you yeah. i keep wanting to say neil Innes, but he's somebody <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah the man with the brightest smile yeah on, in, in music um, yeah he used to play for joanne that's right well. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah um yeah he's because uh, I've, I've saw him recently actually with um when rivers meet yeah so yeah. he gets about a bit he does he? yeah yeah he does um but i mean that like I say, yeah, that was an acoustic set that you did then. Um, yeah, I yeah, went straight yeah. off and I bought all your back catalogue straight away, wow. you know, and I thought, yeah, this, 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 this kid's going to <laughs> oh, you know. And that was quite um, uh, a rare thing for me to do, the acoustic at the time as well, so I'm happy that you, know, was, you went it out. It fucking went out your out fingers up the tree, wasn't it? <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, yeah. they were shredded. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was good fun, you know. It's yeah. uh, that's what it's about. You got to you got to um, push yourself, haven't you? Oh, of course you have. <laughs> of course you have. Yeah, uh, and obviously I've seen you a number of times since then. Brilliant. Um, and uh, I won't, one one gig I'll never forget was uh, when you were supporting um, Glenn Hughes. Brilliant. Um, I actually thought because you've got that 
pinstripe suit on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought, hello. Well, we got Eric Clapton's got looking pretty young these days. <laughs> yeah. uh, you did look for all the world like a young. Yeah, Cap- everyone Clapton, was you know, saying that to me. Uh, it was a good look. Yeah, it was a good look. Thank actually, you. But, uh, yeah, I tried. I tried the suit look for a bit, and um, everyone said, "Yeah, you look like a young Clapton." Bonamassa does it. You know yeah. what I mean? So I thought getting too sweaty after the gigs or yeah. I'll, I'll wear what i want i'll write what music i want i'll record what i want just, just try and be myself yeah you know? yeah no definitely i mean that's the way to go yeah and certainly you know this latest album it's it's all you you know it's it's your okay i'm sure the band has some important yeah of course, you know, of course. course they do. but you know it it suits you down to the ground yeah uh, what's on, on the tracks there um that's not taking away anything you've done previously, yeah. of course, but because it's all part of the progression. Isn't exactly, it? that leads you to to here, and um, yeah. it's all a learning curve. You know, I produced two of my albums yeah. now on Marshall, and and it was the same team again. So I felt really comfortable yeah. going in there and doing that. And um, I guess I've just learnt over the years, and mm. and leads you to here. Well, if you're not learning, you're doing something wrong, exactly. aren't you? I mean, every day is a school day, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it's great, as I say, having seen you... Oh, I mean, God, how many years ago was that um, that I first saw you? Yeah. I mean, it's been great watching that development um, and, you know, the, the way your music has developed. Um, I mean, where next? I mean, that's, uh, that's a thing, you know. <laughs> exactly. You've got to pull something out of the hat next time, haven't you? <laughs> it'll, it'll come naturally, you know. <laughs> I, I if always it doesn't, feel there's something wrong with it. Isn't exactly, yeah. I, I can I can write songs till um till they're coming out of me. You know, yeah. I could pick <laughs> pick a guitar up now and write one. I just just yeah. find it really natural to yeah. to do that. But um, you know, it's writing a song and then there's writing. Wow, yeah, a, yeah, big, exactly. a big world hit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so absolutely. But with my career, you know, in this genre as well, mm. I've always built up a career. It's not a one hit wonder. I've been touring yeah. since I was. 15 years old you know exactly yeah, yeah. i mean this is this way. is the thing we you know there's uh there, there's there's pop artists who are you know they're they're like their, their flame burns brightly mm. but those that burn brightly it goes uh, out fast they, they they fade very quickly yeah definitely um but people in the in in the rock industry mm. well, they're doing it for life yeah and, definitely you know the, the names are there yeah for a very very long time so, yeah you know that the obvious choice is the Stones, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. God of almighty, course, I mean, they're amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Keith was Keith was uh, around sort of before God, I think, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he probably still keep on going as well. He will. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what he's been taking, but it must be preserving <laughs> him really well. But uh, no, I mean, it's. Uh, but this is the thing, you know. Rock musicians just keep going. Yeah. Um, you know, and there are still bands from the 70s that are, okay, they're not being pulling in the audiences necessarily mm. now, but they're still there. You they're know. still doing still it, yeah. Away. Which is but, amazing. Um, which, which is, um, you know, so it, it's great that you're you're in for the long run. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think you've got to be if you choose this as a Damn as a career. It's a lifestyle, isn't it? Of course it is, yeah. You, know, you commit yeah. to it. And it, it, you've got to be passionate about it, yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, rather than just be giving somebody else's songs to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly, it, it, it's, exactly. It's rubbish. I'm not a mad fan on the on the tribute, you know, the no. tribute scene. I've got to be honest with you. I mean, a lot of them big tribute bands pull thousands of people in theatres. Yeah. You know, it's absolutely I mean, bonkers. There are some some special ones. Mm. Um, mm. I mean, the, um, <laughs> I saw one at the, uh, a couple of weekends ago. Classic rock revival. Oh, cool. A couple of friends of mine are in it, and. If you get a chance, yeah, I know you're a busy man, but you've got to go see. Go them. on, and I'll check it out. Because see if it'll change they the mind. are awesome, are they? Um, yeah, there's um, brilliant. Oh yeah, if it's done in the right way, then oh, the, you know yes. it can be. It can be like wow, you know that's yeah. really impressive to to emulate someone's um, you know well, classic look, sound. <laughs> they 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 do a cover of Freebird, really. And my God, shut your eyes! It's <laughs> note for note, yeah, yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah, and that's a, uh, that's a task in itself. It isn't is, it? Yeah. yeah. But uh, no, I'll point some stuff your way. I'll do uh, it. <laughs> send me some links, <laughs> Lawrence. I'm going to let you go, mate. And um, uh, I can see your battery's going flat. I mean, on it? the microphone. So. <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> Shit, it's got to run out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's great talking to yeah, you, mate. Thank you and very much. Good luck tonight. Thank and you. With the rest of the tours. Tours, plural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be on the road. Damn right. <laughs> thank Cheers. you. Thanks Cheers. A lot.